The top doctor in the U.S. paying a visit to Clark County, visiting those in the front lines of our measles outbreak. There are three new suspected cases to add to the 70 confirmed cases already in Clark County. KGW's Devin Haskins was there when the U.S. Surgeon General toured a Vancouver measles clinic. U.S. Surgeon General Vice Admiral Jerome Adams spent some time with doctors and nurses at a pediatric clinic in northeast Vancouver. His goal while here was to emphasize the importance of education about vaccinations. We have these small pockets across the country where we have high opt-out rates. Some, com some communities, some schools I heard today within the state with opt-out rates of up to 80 percent. Similar bills in two different states. In Washington, the House passed a bill that would prevent parents from using a personal exemption. In Oregon, a similar bill is still being heard in committees. What I really believe is that we need to make it easier to get a vaccination than it is to get an exemption. Vancouver mom Cerise Wilson had reservations about vaccinating her one-year-old son Everett. Sometimes you wind up Googling the things that you're most afraid of and then finding the articles that wind up uh, fitting kind of that fear. Of the 70 cases in Clark County, 61 weren't vaccinated. And the more Wilson spoke with her doctor, her fears eased. Everyone just wants what's best for their children. Mm -hmm. It eventually turned to where I was <clears throat> more, uh, I had more anxiety about him not being protected by the mm -hmm. vaccines than by um, being fearful of what the vaccines could potentially do to him. Adam says in the last year, vaccines in Clark County have increased by 400%. Devin Haskins, KGW News. Well, in Vancouver, Legacy Health and the state of Washington have teamed up. They're going to offer free measles vaccination clinics every Friday for the next three weeks.